Hello, this is Tim McCoy, Pivotal Product Manager and User Experience Director. I'm here to talk to you today about what's new for you in Pivotal Green Plum Command Center 3.0. We've entirely rebuilt GPCC from the ground up. There's a new browser native interface, no more Flash plugin. We have built in now the ability to navigate through your performance and query history in any time period you want and compare and interact with the both the query data and the performance data to help you with troubleshooting and reporting for your Greenplum system. Let's take a look. Here's the new Greenplum Command Center. When you install this right over top of your existing 2.x or 1.x installations, it will simply take over the port and become the new version that your users will launch and see. All the same user credentials, all the same database schema on the back end. I have a demo cluster running with 16 segments. It's got four hosts on it. And we're running a small suite of tests here, so I can see that running you know, four to six queries over the last hour or so, uh, I can drill in to these queries and see in more detail what's currently running and queued. If I decide to cancel a query, I can select and cancel that here. So this view is a lot like the view you, know, you already know if you currently use Command Center. But we've redone the interface, we've redone the back end, Everything is snappier. Everything is a lot cleaner and clearer for you to make sense of. So we can go as well into a view of all of the cluster metrics for your system. We can also look across each of the hosts and look at the main activity here. The, there is a pretty significant new feature that we want your feedback on. Please don't be shy. There's a link right up here. Is an opportunity to show you a contribution to SKU. So what we're doing is we're taking the standard deviation of the segment hosts across each of these values, disk read, write, net read, write. And we are exposing when one of those hosts seems to go away from the mean, right? So we're looking, we're seeing some skew contribution. This is a new area of focus for us. We hope to get some more information from you as, as I talk to more users in the field about what you're doing with this new feature and we can improve it in the future. The system, seg the segment status gives you the overview of making sure everything's healthy. If there's ever any issues, you will see them corresponding here and bubbling up into the dashboard uh, as part of the database state. And looking through the storage status gives you a sense over time what is happening with your disk space in your cluster. And you can drill into each of your segments, each of your master, standby master as well, and get trends for that. Let's take a look at our new interactive history view. We have decoupled the notion of looking back through history as anchored by the present. Now you can select any time period from and to, and the interface will show you just the time period in question at the appropriate level of data granularity. We've also combined the view of your cluster data with the queries that were running during the time period that you've selected to give you a better sense of correlation between what's going on in the system and to help troubleshoot issues. Let's look at an example. Get a nice even month. And what I expect to see is a nice even distribution of you know, bumps at the beginning of each week. So I know there's some ETL that happens on this cluster. But interestingly, I look over here towards the third week and there's a considerable spike. So what's going on there? Let's, let's zoom in. So I can just select a certain area of the graph that's interesting to me and focus in on that period of time. And interestingly, when I look more closely, I don't just see a spike, but I see three spikes on consecutive days. So currently, the way I typically look at things is with the queries in the network, but I can choose to turn on or off any number of these graphs. And so let me instead look at memory and CPU. Is there anything interesting there? And in fact, there is, right? Look at this. There's a considerable spike in the user CPU for some reason in this time span here. So I can dig into that, see what's going on. I'll select this area here and I'll run it across. Let's look a little more closely here. I can take a look at the 100 top runtime queries, right? the longest running queries uh, over this period, and get a real quick and easy way to see where those fall by selecting everything and seeing where they come up in the graph. 
Now, when I look at it, it's just a wash, it's everything. Uh, looking more closely, I see there's a couple of really big queries here. So turn those off, and now I get a distribution I expect. Right? So let's focus in on those two queries. Now, if I look across at this first one, I do, in fact, see that, well, this probably relates to this. I can't quite tell, though. I'm going to have to move a little bit further back in time. And if I look at the other significant queries here, that's really the only one that starts right at that point where my user load begins to diverge. So, okay, I think I got something there, but now this other one, I'll have to take a look there. So let me, let me jump all the way one iteration of my time period here. I look across now and there's almost nothing else running at that time, is there? Like everything else I select, Aside from this big query, nothing. So let's take, let's see if we can't run this to the end of time and see where, or to the end of its time and see what happens at the end. I, I suspect that this is the query that is eating up our CPU. And sure enough, here we see as soon as it gets canceled at this time, our CPU goes back down to a threshold where I expect to see it. So taking this information, combining it with the fact that we know whose query it was, what they were trying to do, we can square that with our logs and really help to troubleshoot what was happening in the situation and ensure it doesn't happen again. All right, I hope you enjoyed that look at Pivotal Greenplum Command Center 3.0. If you have any issues, concerns, questions, ideas, please don't be a stranger. You can contact us anytime at gpcc-feedback at pivotal.io. Please Take a few minutes, go find the new release on Pivotal Network. It's a quick, easy upgrade install, and I hope you have a good time using it. Enjoy.